For this week's vlog, the theme is hockey at home. Our coaches have compiled a number of videos going through power skating, puck control, shooting drills that you can work on while away from the rink and at home during these unique times. So hopefully you can put some of these drills to use and we'll see you back at the rink soon. Hey guys, Coach Andy here from the Rink Training Center. Hope everybody is doing well in these uncertain times. Practicing your social distancing as well as practicing your hockey skill at home. So we've got a couple challenges here. Going to work through progression of some puck control. So have a look and enjoy. Stay safe. guys, Coach Jeff here with today's Hockey at Home videos. We're going to be focusing on our shooting progressions, so listen for the key points in the instructions. And we're going to work on having our puck further away from us, and we're going to kind of move into the shot without the puck moving. So how it's going to start, kind of at a stick length away, we're going to jump through our inside foot in a good position with our hands away from our body. Puck is lined up with us, so when I finish my progression, I can just shoot. This time we're going to use a chair to work on those same things that we worked on shooting on our inside and outside foot. This time we're focused on our hands. So what the chair does is allows us to use only our hands when we shoot rather than jumping into the shot. So I like to use a chair because it has three different levels that we can put our foot on. So we can start basic and add up and make it more difficult as we go. So the first one we're going to do, I'm going to have my outside foot on the chair at the lowest part you can see here it's not overly challenging but i'm going to bend this inside leg so i can get down on my shot again my hands are going to be up and away from my body so when i shoot it's all hand motion this side our inside foot is up on the chair i'm choosing the middle spot just as a little bit of a challenge what we're going to focus on is not tilting to the outside leg but more to the inside leg and having that balance on our outside leg so that I can get down on my stick when I shoot. Again, key points, hands up and away. I pull and I push for that twist of my stick. We're gonna use the high part now of the chair. So what it's gonna do is gonna get your foot way up. So it's gonna challenge you not to tip over, but get balanced on your inside leg. So you're bending a little more. Again, keeping our hands away from our body when we shoot. Keeping our balance on that foot, again, when we shoot. This is John Kara from the rink. I uh, hope everybody's staying safe and enjoying time at home with family. Today's drill is gonna be a stride mirroring drill. It goes through four different positions. First step in this progression is through all the four positions. We're gonna just be able to tap your toe. So being able to touch that toe, being able to extend, uh, through all four positions. This drill is now the ability to not only have the toe touch, but also the ability to touch the heel. Uh, by doing this again, we're trying to activate those skating muscles uh, that all too often we're not able to use uh, by being off the ice. Uh, again, this is a simple drill that uh, you have the ability to do at home. It doesn't require any equipment, easy setup. Uh, you can do it basically anywhere around the house. Look forward to seeing you when everything uh, clears up here and stay safe. 
Maddie Miles Abbott from the Rink Team. Just wanted to touch base with you guys and give you a quick little shooting drill you can do at home. This is a basic uh, drill for our shooting and stride progression. What we're going to focus on here is good hand position, balance, and timing. I'll show you right now. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that gives you something to do while you're at home. Uh, if you have any questions, always make sure to reach out to our staff at the rink and stay safe and hope to see you at the rink training center soon. Everyone, Coach Jared from the rink training center. Hope everyone's uh, staying safe and doing well during this time of uncertainty. I want to let everyone know that we're going to be posting a bunch of videos coming up, things that we can do to get ourselves active off the couch, uh, not watching Netflix from six in the morning till midnight. You know who I'm talking about. Coach Foster here with today's Hockey at Home episode. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple activities we can use uh, to help utilize the flex of our stick, try to get a little bit more power behind our shots. All we need here is a spare tire and our hockey stick. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to work with here is using our legs to generate power as well as our stick. So what we're going to have, we're going to be facing the strong side of our body. Okay, from here we're going to load up our back leg, transfer our weight to our front leg, Turning to face our target. From here, we're going to push our hands out towards that tire and utilize the flex of our step. So watch it here. Okay, next one we can try here is shooting off of a crossover, getting those hands out in front of us. So same thing, we're going to cross right over onto that strong foot, pushing those hands out in front of our body. So here. Okay, thanks for watching today's episode of Hockey at Home. Uh, stay home and healthy, and we'll see you guys sometime soon. Hey everyone, it's Brett Marnick from Ring Goalie Development. I'm here at home, like I'm sure most of you are. Uh, today I'm going to show you some drills for puck handling that you can do at home. For all these drills, it's good to do both forehand and backhand while wearing your goal gloves. Another recommendation I give all my goalies is to wear your chest protector while doing this. It gives you more of an on ice feel instead of just using your bare arms. It's Coach Shannon from the Rink Training Center. Hope everyone's staying safe and enjoying the nice beautiful weather we now have. Uh, I thought I'd jump on here and show you guys a couple stick handling drills we can do with some household items. Today's drill, I chose to use a stick handling ball, but you could also use a golf ball, a slide puck, or a tennis ball. In lieu of cones, you could use a water bottle. If you have cones, you can use them, or your favorite can of soup. Another way to practice your toe drag is to set up a stick with a cone. Uh, so we want to do is make sure that our hands slide nice and wide as it comes around our stick. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for our next Hockey at Home.